Indium is a chemical element with the symbol in an atomic number 49. Indium is a white soft metal with a low melting point and can be cut with a knife or the like. It was discovered in 1863 by German chemists Ferdinand Reich and Hieronymus Theodor Richter while they were analyzing samples of zinc ore. The element was named after the indigo blue seen in its emission spectrum. In 1864, Richter separated the metallic indium in its elemental form, and in 1867 exhibited a 0.5 kg indium ingot at the Paris Exposition. In 1924, indium was discovered to have the property of stabilizing non-ferrous metals. During World War II, it was coated on the bearings of aircraft engines and used to act as lubrication. It was also used as a low melting point metal such as fuse and solder. In 1952, compound semiconductors containing indium began to be produced, and in 1970, reactor control rods using alloys containing indium were developed and widely used. As liquid crystal displays began to be widely used in the 1990s, the use of indium oxide tin as a transparent electrode increased significantly, and this became the main use of indium. Indium is also used in alloy manufacturing to the extent that adding a trace amount to other metals greatly changes the properties of the metal and is named a metal vitamin. Indium is contained in a small amount in the form of indium ions substituted at these metal ion sites in sulfide ores of zinc, lead, tin, and iron. In particular, it is mainly contained in zinc ore, and the indium content contained in it is about 1 ppm to 100 ppm, 0.01%. Therefore, indium is mainly obtained as a byproduct of zinc production, and indium is melted from slag and softening generated during zinc production and then purified by electrolysis. According to USGS data, the global production of primary indium, indium obtained directly from ores, not recovered and regenerated, in 2011 is estimated to be 640 tons, mainly produced in China, 340 tons, Korea, 100 tons, Japan, 70 tons, and Canada, 65 tons. The global annual requirement is estimated to be more than 1,800 tons, including primary indium and secondary, renewable, indium. Since indium is mainly used as a transparent electrode for liquid crystal displays (LCDs), it is mainly consumed in Japan, Korea, China, and Taiwan, which produce a lot of it. Indium is quite familiar to computer enthusiasts. The soldering of the CPU is using indium. Since it melts at a much lower temperature than lead and has a very high thermal conductivity, it is used because it can increase heat dissipation and protect the core through heat spread while minimizing damage to the CPU. Indium is actually the only material that can weld a silicon chip to a heat spreader. Not only indium but also gold should be used, and unlike general soldering, indium diffuses between gold and nickel molecules to form an alloy, bonding two types of metals to each other. However, since Intel's Ivy Bridge in 2012, Intel has replaced all CPUs with thermal grease except for Xeon E5 and higher products and head products until the 8th generation of the Core i series. As a result, renovations become prevalent. In 2017, even the Intel Core X series, formerly HET, Extreme lineup used thermal grease. Later, some of the 9th generation Core i series CPUs and Core X series were also restored to their original state by soldering. In addition, it is also used in conductive thermal grease such as Liquid Pro. Thermal grease made of an alloy such as indium, which is used for heat transfer between such high-performance computer chips and heat sinks, is also called liquid metal. Pure indium metal is known to be non-toxic. Unlike cadmium, it rarely accumulates in the body. On the other hand, indium, 3, compounds are toxic and are known to damage the kidneys, heart, and liver, especially in CL3 anhydride is relatively toxic, and INP is a toxic carcinogen. Unusual, these substances are toxic when injected into the skin, while those that enter the mouth have a low absorption rate and are rarely toxic. In summary, indium unique physical properties, such as its high conductivity and low melting point, make it a valuable resource in a variety of industries, including electronics, semiconductors, and solar panel manufacturing.